Okay, sorry, I'm having a side conversation with our next guest, but uh, art that makes the spirit world visible. Our next guest is Reviving Judaica Art for uh, Modern Art Lovers. Uh, please welcome Jordana Klein to the show. Hello, Hi. hello. <laughs> it's very fascinating what, uh, what you do, but first I want to know, kind of like, when you refer to Judaica in general, like what's the classic kind of explanation of what Judaica is for people that don't already know? Uh, well, I would say Judaic, classic Judaica has nothing to do with what I do. <laughs> but Judaica art, so, right. Uh, so my art is um, Jewish, is Jewish themes, not necessarily Judaica. Um, they're also, um, they have spiritual messages or religious messages that don't have to be Jewish. Right. I had an exhibit at the Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church in New York because the biblical themes spoke to them as well. Very interesting. And how are you finding when you do get, you know, when you are showcasing your work beyond, you know, Jewish enthusiasts, uh, what is their reaction? Um, it's been really, really positive. Uh, it's, it's also, it's different than the Christian art they come across. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's very, what you feel in my paintings are the themes, not the stories. Right. So you'll see um, the burning bush, and you'll see it in a lot of different ways. And they'll look at the burning bush in a different way than I might look at the burning bush, but it's still part of their, their Bible mm -hmm. and their experience. Mm -hmm. So it's fun to see, it doesn't matter, it's universal message, it's right. universal history, it's something we share together. Right. And that still exists, but exists differently for me than for them, but also differently for me than from you. Right, I understand. And so you work on various mediums, like what, you know, what are the different kind of themes of artwork that you do? Themes. Like I see you've got like ketubahs, you have right. like just so actually it's very new. What happened was I was doing just a lot of regular painting, and then I started doing spray painting with painting, which gave like more air in it. Mm -hmm. And then I said I wanted blank spaces, so I started painting on mirrors and on glass. And that made the environment interactive, like because you see either yourself in the mirror or the wall behind it. Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know what? I'm tired of painting chuppahs and weddings. I want to be in the chuppah and the wedding. So I made a ketubah to be within the ceremony itself. Clever. So that became my ketubah line that I started last year. And now, again, instead of painting Shabbat tables and Shabbat scenes, I create challah trays out of glass and challah covers um, and tallit and tefillin bags using my artwork. And it brings it into everyday life. Right. And I mean, I explain kind of, you know, bringing the spirit world, making it visible. Kind of explain, what does that mean to you? It means that there are no words to convey what I could convey with my art. If there were words, then, be a to, <laughs> then I wouldn't have to be that bridge between. Mm -hmm. The physical world, you could see this table, okay? And the spiritual world, theoretically, is around you. What you need to do is to make this table represent something that's bigger than us, that's in the air, that's mystical, that's... Doesn't intangible. have to be anything. Intangible, that's the word. <laughs> And that's, um, and that's what I mean. And again, for everybody, it means something different. Right. So what inspires you? Like, do you just kind of go into your studio when you just, you have an idea and then you just go and it just kind of comes out? Like where, like how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it just comes out. Sometimes, um, one of the things I loved about working with spray paint um, which set off my asthma, so I'm in a little trouble now, is I would go outside of my garden and throw things all over the canvas grass and flowers and whatever and stones and then spray paint around it then when you took that stuff off i had shapes and then i so looked inside those shapes and painted around them wow that's so cool so that that was inspiration in and of itself right wow well thank you so <laughs> much and where can people see your work besides your website well now it's on exhibit at Heikal shlomo in jerusalem uh till the middle of february i'm having a solo exhibit there 58 King George Street, and it's been a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming in. Beautiful works. Thank you. Keep up the good work. And uh, coming up, 